And after that Tigers win, we have some post-game analysis from a former Tiger pitcher, Matthew Beck. Beck played for LSU back from 2017 to 2021. You also were at Alexandria Senior High. We'll start there on the mound with the Tigers pitcher tonight, Nate Ackenhausen. What a gutsy performance by him. You being a pitcher, you must take a lot of pride in seeing a performance like that. Man, that, that was incredible. Um, as a kid, you're, you're dreaming of those big moments, you know, getting to pitch in the College World Series and, and just envisioning what that looks like. I mean, for him being a being a bullpen guy to come get his first start of the year and, and go six innings and, and put the team on his back. I mean, that was absolutely incredible. I mean, that, that's what it's all about when you get into this this postseason uh, time frame. I mean, you, you got to have uh, you got to have your your guys go and then you've got to have guys step up. And I mean, to say he stepped up is probably not doing it justice because he, he put on a performance tonight. It's certainly an understatement. Ackenhausen hadn't made a start all year. He hadn't had an, in, uh, an outing more than four innings long. And then he gets you there into the seventh inning. That's that's the difference maker for LSU advancing tonight with that. When you see a performance like that and you coming out the bullpen yourself while your time at LSU, how does Nate kind of go about that approach when Coach Jay Johnson gives you the nod and say, hey, you're going to start the game? As a relief pitcher, how does that approach change? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, as a bullpen guy, typically throughout the year, you've got about you know 30 to 45 minutes before the game to warm up. Um, and you, you get your throws in and you may do a, a touch and feel off the mound, throw some flat ground pitches, whatever the case may be. Um, but obviously when you, you get thrust in that starting role, uh, it, it changes a little bit um, just based on the, the build up to the game. I mean, you know, you're getting the ball, you got a lot of time to think about it. So it's really just kind of channeling whatever routine you can make feel the most normal um, in that scenario. And I mean, it, it looks like it worked out pretty good for him tonight. Cause I mean, like, he, like I said, he, he put on an absolute performance tonight. Yeah, for sure. And we mentioned the 2017 team that you were on. It was also the last time LSU was in the College World Series. This team resembles a lot of that team. You know, they lost game two of the College World Series, had to go on and win three straight to reach the final. Now that you get past the game one per se, now you got two more to reach the College World Series final where it starts the best two out of three. Now what's the mindset for the guys in that in that dugout? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, it's really got to be one game at a time, one pitch at a time, one inning at a time. Um, you, you look at the grand scheme of things. I mean, it's a pretty daunting task um, to, to look up and see if you've got a Wake Forest team that's really, really good. Um, and you've got to beat them twice to make it to the, the championship series. Um, so, I mean, if you if you look at it in a whole, it's, a, like I said, a pretty daunting task. Um, so you really got to just kind of bear down and, and, and not think about tomorrow because tomorrow may not come. So you've got to do everything that you can, all your all your focus, all your energy, all your efforts got to go into winning tomorrow. Yeah, for sure. And look, when you talked about other guys as well with the, with them, you played with a lot of these guys on this year's roster. To see them on this stage now and to kind of have grown up and right to, to be the team that lived up to all the expectations and now playing in the College World Series, it must be a lot of fun just kind of sitting back and watching those same guys that you kind of watched when they kind of came into campus as, as a freshman. Absolutely. I've got to got to see those guys grow up pretty much. It feels like, um, you know, when they came to campus um, as freshmen, you know, you, you think about Cruz, you think about Gavin, you think about Cade, Hayden, Travinsky, Malazzo, the, the whole slew of guys. Um, you've kind of seen them develop throughout their years at LSU. And it, it's been been really cool to sit back and, like you said, just just watch it all all transpire. Um, because to say they deserve it would be an understatement that those guys work and work and work. I mean, um, I, I can't help but think about somebody like Gavin and Cade who, who've had so many trials and, and tribulations throughout their time at LSU and to, to persevere and really embody what it means to to wear that purple and gold and the Tigers across your chest. I mean, th those guys are it. Um, and it's no coincidence watching them now now lead younger guys. Um, so it's, it's been a, a pretty cool full circle moment watching them. Um, and, and I'm so proud of them. And uh, I've been, I've been texting them a little bit here throughout the, throughout the time that they've been in Omaha and just letting them know, man, they're, I'm proud of you. Keep, keep doing, keep, keep plugging. The job's not finished. Um, and man, they're, they're, they're awesome. And you mentioned a guy like Dylan Cruz, that home run there to kind of really seal the deal for LSU and that win against Tennessee. I, I think that was so needed for him, you know, struggled a little bit in the College World Series so far, but, you know, hopefully that kind of 
takes a little off the cap for him and he can go back to, to being the player we've all been accustomed to him seeing. Absolutely. I mean, the the pressure that he, he must feel being the, the best baseball player in the world, not named Mike Trout, uh, has got to be just a tremendous amount of pressure. So uh, I'm sure that home run just because he hit a ball early in the in the game that would have been out just about on any other day. Um, but for him to get one out and, and really hopefully kind of lift that weight of, you know, the expectation that he's going to going to hit a home run every at bat, hit a double, do something crazy. Um, for him to really be able to kind of settle in and relax, especially with a with a big series like this coming up, I think is, is huge for them. Matthew, man, I appreciate you, man. Thank you for so much for your time, and I appreciate you doing this. And always, always a fan, man.